I'll never stop performing. It's, it's what I really love to do. And, and I like communicating with, with an audience through, through the cello. And, So my name is Daniel Dennis. I was originally from a smaller town in Huntsville, Ontario, but I grew up in Toronto and took music lessons there. Um, I went to an arts high school. My program right now is the Bachelor of Music Honors and Performance. I've been working on Shostakovich's first cello concerto for two years now. Um, when I was in my third year, I worked on just the first movement. And when I, when I heard the news that I'd be playing with orchestra the following year, I started working on the rest of the movements. What's most exciting for me is um, taking what was a collaboration between uh, just two people, so myself and my, uh, my phenomenal accompanist, Raymond Trong, and turning that um, into a collaboration between myself and um, a living thing, like a 50-piece orchestra with you know, a conductor and, and, um, and different instruments, and, uh, and it really brings all of these, you know, characters and, and wonderful things about the piece like to life. Um, so the section that that <laughs> of the cadenza that I'd like to play um, is is sort of what I like or what my cello teacher Tom Vieb likes to call the the joint of the of the piece. It it sort of marks the the low point of the entire piece. is when, when I reach the return of the material from the first movement in the fourth. Um, so what I really like about it is, is it sort of creates the cyclical um, nature to the piece. And, um, and, and it's interesting because underneath this, this motive from the first movement, um, the cello is playing uh, the solo part, so I'll be playing. And um, and and what I what I noticed about this this passage is that the cello is playing. Which is um, maybe the closest thing in this piece to Shostakovich's DSCH motive, um, which um, people like to bring up, it's, it's his initials, so Dmitry Shostakovich, DSCH. Um, the original, the, the actual letters for it in, in, in what we use is um, for letter naming, uh, note naming, is D, E flat, C, B, um, so it's been transposed and it's been modified a little bit so one of the notes comes before the other one, but but it's probably the closest thing in the piece to to this to this famous motive that he quotes in in so many of his pieces. It's a self-reference, it's uh, it's his it's his cryptograph. 